This is Psalms 124 and 6. Blessed be Yahweh who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises on our glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem. Yahweh Shah. Ba'ashem Rakakadash. The born and city apostles and elders of great millstone. Salutation to you, all can present this word with truth and sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. So I just want to go into this quick lesson. Um, and I'm going to call it The Snare is Broken. Okay. And um, it reminds me of this scene in the movie uh, The Matrix. All right, when um, Morpheus, uh, when Morpheus was telling Neo that you are in a prison for your mind, okay, and as the scripture says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. So we are spiritual, um, um, escapees, so to speak. This is Isaiah 10 and 27. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his, and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be broken because of the anointing. And the anointing is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that we receive uh, via the Holy Spirit through the will and the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Okay. All right. So we are, as the scripture says, we are Yahweh Bashem Yahushai's freemen. Okay. Matter of fact, let me get that. It says, guys. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, there's my order in there, right? Uh, yep. This is First Corinthians seven and twenty-two. For he that is called in Yahweh, being a servant, is Yahweh's free man. Likewise, also he that is called being free is Hamashiach's servant. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, man, we we're free from the traps of Esau, Edom. You know, by being of servants of Yahweh Shah. Okay. And, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah giving us the eye salve, the eyes uh, to see and the ears to hear. We can uh, see these traps that Esau set it for us, right? As the scripture says, we are not ignorant uh, of Satan's uh, devices. Okay. Um, uh, all right, so we are the Lord's free men through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. We can see all these traps and snares that are being laid for us. This is Proverbs 1 and 17. Surely in vain is the net spread in the sight of any bird. All right. Matter of fact, let me read up a little bit. Uh, I'll read down, actually. Nah, that was the point. That's the point. That's all I get out of that. But yeah, you know, we see the traps. And it used to be, uh, I remember when I was younger, you know, people used to, um, because Esau, he, you know, his Christians call him a cunning hunter, okay? Uh, I was, Right. You know, um, this this devil, he prides himself on being a, you know, a cunning hunter. And, you know, uh, America has the most prisons out of any other place in the world. And uh, 
this, this guy is all about imprisoning people and things. You know, he has uh, uh, the whole world under siege, so to speak. You know, um, that's why Alex Jones had a show called Prison um, Prison Planet. All right. And uh, I remember when I was younger, there was uh, people used to say that, um, you know, so-called white men's prisons are so good that if anybody ever escaped from his prison, he would shut it down. And I believe that was a, a story about the, the uh, prison called Alcatraz. Okay. In particular, Alcatraz, it was a prison that was on an island, you know. And uh, from what I heard when I was young, I don't know how true it is, is they shut it down because some people had escaped, you know. But I know it did eventually get shut down. Why it got shut down, I don't know. Um, but that's what that was the rumor when we were little. That, um, you know, Esau, he prided himself on being able to create the best prisons that uh, if anybody would ever escape his prisons, that particular prison would get shut down. You know, as I grew up, you know, I learned that that wasn't really true. <laughs> you know, a lot of these prisons, uh, uh, in particular, a few years ago, probably like a good seven to eight, maybe nine uh, to ten years ago, there was uh, some guys that escaped the federal building in Chicago. You know, basically... Uh, made a rope with a bunch of nets, I mean, with a bunch of uh, sheets, all right, and climbed out, you know. So that's not that's definitely not true because <laughs> that building's still up and running, you know, and a lot of other jails and prisons, man. Which goes to show you just like, you know, <laughs> how, um, as the scripture says, uh, the, the well, in this very... Uh, um, chapter uh, basically talks about the worms covering them, you know, which is uh, the decay of the um, just the just the overall decay of uh, America, Babylon the Great, of this system, and one of those uh, uh, decays being um, one of those things that are decaying, being infrastructure. Okay. And the prisons are definitely a part of the infrastructure, okay? And they're, uh, they've been failing, all right? You know, and just overall, <laughs> you know, all these traps and prisons are failing, man, because of why? The anointing, the knowledge of wisdom, my understanding of Yahweh by Shemi Ashai is why all these <laughs> traps, and prisons are failing. Okay. But uh, let me just read this. This is uh, Isaiah 14 and 16. They that see thee shall nearly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of his prisoners. All right. All right. And, you know, like I said, America has the most prisons out of any other country, you know. And um, I'm thinking about another scripture where it says um, they all snared in holes and they all hid in prison houses, man. You know, mainly these prisons... He has uh, Jake locked up in it, man, you know. <laughs> but us having his knowledge of wisdom and understanding, we are uh, escaped, <laughs> you know, through the spirit of Pav Yahweh Bashimi Asha. So, <laughs> you know, and, and as, the, as time progresses, he's getting ready to uh, lock this place down even more, mainly with his MOTB, all right? which is his digital um, implantation that he's going to put in the people to track their every move, you know, and, and, and everything that they do. That's going to be an even greater yoke, okay? 
Because everything he everything here is in uh, Babylon the Great is a yoke. He uses it uh, to entrap you and snare you. The things that you own, own you. Okay. You're working for that car. <laughs> You're working for that house. You're working for that woman. You know, the things you own got you working, man. You know, and that was a saying from the movie um, um, Fight Club, you know, a character by the name of Ty Tyler Durden, man. He, he basically said that the things, uh, the things that you own, own you. And it's the same thing here, man. Your kids own you, man. Your, 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 your wife owns you. Your, your house owns you. You're just overall property of the things that you're supposed to own, man. <laughs> you know, and overall uh, a property of the banking elites. But as these walls close in, you know, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah is going to snatch us out of this because he's getting ready to swallow everything down, man. He's, he's getting ready to swallow everything, man. So these walls are closing in. And before they close in and crush us, the Lord is, is going to deliver us out of, out of this place, man. You know, why everybody else is left down here at, 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 at um, in this destruction. You know, as the scripture says, the righteous shall scarcely be saved, man. <clears throat> you know, the Lord is going to deliver us out of this horrible pit that we're in, man. You know, <laughs> he's not going to leave us our soul in hell, you know. So this is a spiritual prison break that is, uh, you know, that, that the Lord has been orchestrating. And the, and what is the blueprint? Because, <laughs> you know, when somebody uh, has a plan to uh, break out of prison, it's usually written down, you know. And our, and our blueprint on getting out of here is these scriptures, the knowledge of wisdom and understanding of, of this word, man. This is our uh this is the prison plan that Yahweh Bashmi Asha has bestowed on upon us to escape this place, man. But we gotta follow it to the letter. We gotta follow it to the T. You know. Those are some pretty good movies, man, those prison break movies, man. You know. Uh, one of my favorite being Shawshank Redemption. You know. <laughs> you know, uh, uh um it was a saying in the movie that Morgan Freeman uh, said, because uh, the guy who escaped, his name was Andy Dufresne. And basically he escaped by climbing through a, a sewage pipe, which was like five football fields long. He had to crawl on his belly. <laughs> That's kind of like how we're going through, man, that narrow passage, that narrow way, man. And um, what did Morgan Freeman say? He said, uh, Andy Dufresne, the only man to crawl through fit to five football fields and worth of shit and come out clean on the other side, man. And that's how the elect are gonna come they're gonna be clean. As the scripture says, um they shall they shall walk with me in white raiment, man. White and clean. So the Lord's gonna purify his elect, man, you know. While we have this devil uh, trying to accuse us, he's the accuser of our brethren, as the scripture says, man. You know, but the Lord is, uh, as the scripture says, he always make it the way to escape, man. But hey, the rest of uh, our people, the two thirds, they're going to get, uh, you know, as the scripture says, um, my people are led as a flock to the slaughter, you know. So they're going to be led into that slaughterhouse, you know, but the elect are going to escape. Lord willing, we be of that number, so. It's a little lesson I wanted to do. Hope there was some edification within it. With that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahsha, Basham, Rakagadash, the honor to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone. Salutation to you, Akin, pushing this word with true sincerity, with charity, with your bodies, a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. Shalom, Amin, Ababa, Ababa.